Today is going to be a ton of fun because today we get our jetpack and it along with the travel pipes that launch us everywhere and some uh, spicy other mods are going to make for one uh, spicy episode. Let me tell you. So be honest, guys. How many of you actually read that in my voice? Because you better believe I was reading it in my voice. Like I always do. But anyway, welcome back to Satisfactory. Oh man, oh man. Things are moving, things are grooving. Got the sign mod last time, which is absolutely fantastic. And we're absolutely going to be using it a lot more today. And then, oh, oh. Do you know what's happening? It's February. I, I was freaked out. I was freaked out. I saw on Twitter that the new update is coming out like it could be next week or the week after. It's like, oh, oh my gosh. I'm not ready. We gotta move. We gotta groove. We have so much to do. Doggos, do you even know what's gonna happen? The whole world is gonna be changed. It's gonna be amazing. But we have to prepare. We have to prepare immediately after we pet every single dog here. Okay, but then after that, we gotta move and groove. And today, we're gonna be doing something quite drastic. But we're deleting the Area Actions mod. For the whole video today. Because honestly, we're getting a little too reliant on it. And once the update comes out, we're not gonna have it anymore. And it's gonna be super spooky. So, today, we don't have it. And we're gonna unlock the jetpack and work on methods of travel around our base. So jetpack travel, bounce pad travel, elevator travel, and more. So it's gonna be quite spicy, quite spicy indeed. First off though, it's jetpack time, because it's high time we got flying here. Let's rock and roll. Jetpack unlocked. RMD inflated your pocket dimension and has provided a jetpack which operates on oil-based fuel for increased navigational capabilities as well as odds of survival. You better believe it. We got the jetpack. How do you make the jetpack? It's act. <laughs> it's been months. Actually, yeah, it's actually been months. And okay, it looks like we need some circuit boards and plastic. Right on. So let us craft ourselves a couple jetpacks here. One for now, and one for when I inevitably die. So first off, goodbye, Blade Runners. I loved you. I love you so much. I'm so sad. We're gonna be so slow. Well, that's okay. Maybe in the next update, we'll actually get them again. Dunno. But for now, we're gonna grab some more fuel. And of course, guys, the number one thing we gotta try is, oh my gosh, is not to cry. We have to try not to cry. We're so slow. I miss the Blade Runners already. But no, actually, the first thing we have to do is go to the very top of our base and try out the travel tubes. Because what we were doing before is we'd go in them and use a parachute to fly to wherever we wanted. But now that we have a jetpack, it's like, <laughs> I actually don't know. We can just go anywhere and not have to worry about the parachute. Yes, yes indeed. And the beautiful thing about the jetpack is though, it's actually quick, so we don't have to slowly wait to fall down anywhere. We can go everywhere we technically want. Whoa, okay. If the game will not die on us, and we're all happy happy. The travel pipes essentially now are like worth a billion times more. And you better believe I have some pretty extreme plans with them later on in the video here. But right now, we have to make this massive complex far more traversable because right now, there's only a few arteries of which we can travel through. Like we have our main travel pipe here, which allows us to go from our starter base to the main base and around. And that's it. Every other method of travel is pretty dang bad. And then the vertical travel, of course, is pretty awful too. Like our main entrance to our main base is this right here. This clipping couple platforms in through this unfinished part of the base into our main elevator here. Like, that is the main entrance to our super base. Like, <laughs> there's just so much to do. Oh my goodness. Okay, where do we even begin? 
I think practically the best way to start is by building a few elevators. Elevators, super duper quick. And they look cool. The first one's pretty meh, but there's this metal elevator and it looks pretty spicy. Looks like we need a little bit of metal first though. Luckily, near the ground where we first began, we made our super massive steel foundry area. Just behind here which totally had a proper door. And yeah, we can just grab a little bit of steel here, right? Wait, is there even a proper way up the floors of the steel area? There actually isn't. Oh wait, oh, I'm remembering all this stuff now. It, again, it's been like weeks since we just normally walked around here. A long, long ago, off in a distant land. And by a distant land, I mean way behind the factory here. I built a little elevator. So at least we have something, right? And yes, you better believe it's very professionally done. And then we just have all the entrances to the floors, which are very roughly done. Oh, there's so much traversal stuff we have to do too. Oh my God, this is gonna be a massive, massive project today. First off, where are my steel beams? Hello? Aha, there we go. All these bad boys, very nice. Uh, you can go. And you can come with me. Excellent. So yeah, let's start things off here by building lots of elevators. And you guys might be wondering, Kibbs, why are you building elevators if all the mods are gonna be like reset soon? And that's just because I'm hoping that the mods will all be fixed relatively quickly after the update drops. So that if we build the elevators now, we'll easily be able to replace them. Anyway though, the first elevator has to go into this tower here. I literally use this all the time and it's super, super important. So let's see here. Just go like that. Okay. I'm kind of worried about like squishing my head on the concrete above, so we're gonna be a little careful here. And we are gonna try and add a floor that goes 150 meters up. And let's not squish ourselves, yes? We super are, I already know it. At least we can delete that now. Okay, okay, goodbye, other floor area. How high is 150 meters? Well, it's apparently about here. Looks like we kinda have to guess. Okay, but let's go a little bit lower. There we go, perfect. So now this will always be here, and say we send this elevator down to the first floor, or the ground floor. When we actually walk up to this area, it will come up to us, and we'll be able to go up and down again. So once it hits the bottom, I think it's just if we stand around here, it like calls the elevator for us. Huh, that's a negative Ghost Rider. Let's try this out with another elevator then, just the four door. Because I've used this actually before over in our assembler area, and it did work. Oh, oh and by the way, that's what happens when you get squished. I forgot there's a power pole in the middle there and we just got booped. And also we can chest out the thing down here, so when we walk up, to this. Okay, so this one gets called down to us, but the other one doesn't. Very strange. Oh, or perhaps, I think I know what's going on. You have to walk onto the tile the elevator's gonna occupy. So for example here, we'll send this back to the ground floor, and now when we try and like jump around and try and call it up to us, it's not gonna come up, because we have to uh, physically stand on this tile. Which is weird, I thought it worked differently before. Maybe it's just acting finicky right now. Uh, regardless, I think this would be a pretty good idea just having a couple of these here. Now we stand here, and it still doesn't work. Okay, so it seems this needs a little bit of finagling. Oh, and now it's just working. Okay, well I moved the power poles all around, and I, I, th I guess it just has a cooldown? Or something like that. All right, well that's excellent. So let's get rid of that one more time here. We'll add in just the other elevator because it looks way more cool. And that is like our main form of transportation done. Cool. And then of course we have to go to the very top here. Which is probably like, I don't know, 320 meters high? There we go. So now we have the elevator in the middle. And that takes us to our travel pipe area where we can launch ourselves around the world. Cool. I like this a lot. I like this a lot, a lot. Oh, imagine adding in windows to the side too? 
actually having a bit of a view here. <laughs> Quite spicy. And then maybe in the new update where they have the rails for the sides of foundations, maybe you can mess around with those in the elevators too. Who knows? Okay, but that's one elevator. We definitely need a lot more because elevators are arguably the most effective use of transport. Like, we'll use some travel pipes later on and some bounce pad elevators, but just having normal elevators that stop on floors are extremely handy. Uh, anyway, we are in our main hub area by our train station, and we absolutely gotta get an elevator around here, brother. Except the problem is, there is not a lot of space, because this is all close by to where I'm always at. So we have our main bounce pad elevator right here. That has to stay. Over this way, we have this beautiful view, first off, and then we have another bounce pad elevator that goes down into our train station area. Well, there's the U-Jelly. Where's the bounce pad elevator? Did I not make a door? <laughs> uh, well, there's the bounce pad elevator. Oh, I see. Yeah, it goes a little bit higher up, but obviously, it should probably also go here. There we go, just ignore the high voltage cable. But anyway, I guess you're kind of seeing the problem here, right? No place to build. So I was thinking we could maybe have the elevator out this way. But then, I was like, oh wait, right up there are all the manufacturers. So, oof to that. The doggos are directly above us. <laughs> As you can clearly see. So, the only place I could find to put an elevator was off to the right of our main travel pipe here. So, we just scoot over this way. I have this beautiful balcony that overlooks all of the craziness here. And then, we have to kind of have an elevator here. I already kind of cleared the way. And I think this time we're gonna use this four door elevator. And that way we can walk over into the balcony here, or walk through it. Or we could add in a few walls with, what are they called? The little windows. The conveyor walls, that's it. Yeah. And they can act as little windows per floor. Or just, who knows, just all the way up. Why not, actually? Now it's just a matter of figuring out the floors again. Now that we kind of got the hang of things, that shouldn't take all too long. Okay, yeah, wasn't too bad at all. So now we can go up from our main floor to the doggos, which are just over there. Hello, guys. And it also goes into our first warehouse area, which is pretty convenient. Then we can go to our train warehouse, which is just over here. This is what we did the last episode. We kind of got this started. It definitely needs a few belts for just for us to travel on, because man, there's gonna be a lot of stuff going on in here, and it is huge. And without our precious Blade Runners, it takes a long time to move and groove. But anyway, the final floor that we can go to is the main cross and our manufacturing area. So this is the beginning of the manufacturing area. It is gonna go like way, way up in the future. But right now, well, that's kind of it. And we'll probably adjust the elevator later on. And then also, very importantly, this goes to the main bridge in the middle of our base that goes to our assembler area, where we have another elevator that just goes up and down it. It was actually the first one we made where we were testing things out. So that's already done. Now the big question, do we need any more elevators now? And I think the real answer is we don't. The elevators are really good for inner base, like, controlled travel. I think if we're anywhere else in the base, we want to be freaking moving and grooving. So that's like jetpack launch pads, and of course, ye ol' travel pipes. But they're not the only thing. Because the more factory mod has something I've kind of avoided for the last forever, which is called the Dasher. And this thing is like made for the jetpack. And also I think the Dasher is made for this area because that is like a crazy distance over there. So let's check her out. Looks like it's made into a platform. Okie dokie. So then we just replace you. And yes, there is an arrow on it. Okay. So we just, oh my God. That wasn't loud at all and doesn't continue to be loud. Is there, can we? Uh, what? <laughs> I am so confused. I tried this out like months ago when I first downloaded More Factory, but now I don't know what's going on. This is looking insane. Did we just jump on and YOLO it? 
I, I guess we do. Ooh, oh, it bounces you up and then over. Oh, that's pretty quick too. Blech. I quite like that. I thought it was gonna be something like a bounce pad because like the angle it had with the weird markings. Nah, though, that's pretty good. And it gets us right to the elevator right here. Okay, so let's try it again. I don't even know if that was the fast setting, actually. So, God, that's loud. I gotta turn that down. But now, is this slow or is this fast? I just have no idea. It kinda sounds different. Oh, okay, that is slow. That is slow. It's so sad. Okay, so let's put it onto the higher mode again. Oh, and it does sound different when it's in the higher mode. Wow, that's pretty neat. So then, we're off. That works so well. I really like these. I like these a lot. A little loud, a little weird, but you better believe they work. Ooh. And if we take our elevator back down to our warehousing area, do 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 train warehouse. Now these dashers will be perfect. Guess look at all this walking we have to do. <laughs> walking. Yeah, right. Not anymore anyway. Well, walking we had to do because now we just have these. We put that down. We'll have it on a raised platform and we'll add in the little ramps just beside it. And that just makes it look a little bit more pronounced. Like if it's just on the ground and we accidentally like step on it without the jetpack, that could be a bad time. So yeah, this is nice. We can absolutely decorate it a lot more as well too. But for now, that works. And that easily gets us across the entire warehouse to wherever we need to be. Like our rubber bins here. Ooh, ain't that spicy. Oh my gosh, and I just got the greatest idea ever. Then we could have a dasher right beside like the bins attached to this walkway for when we have to uh, peasant trot, i.e. walk around. And now we can just have this to take us back. And there we go. Easy peasy. Right? Absolutely. Woo! Ooh, one little major issue. That's an oxymoron there, but, oh, okay, we have to test something out here. I want to have another floor to this warehouse at this height. So if this thing boosts us into another floor, what happens then? I'm presuming we just get stopped, but I wonder if we can make like a really far distance with these anymore. Well, I guess nothing better than testing it out. So boost this up. Okay. So it still gives us the speed, just not the height. That's fine, we just need the speed. It's all about the speed, brother. Okay, so so long as it works, it works. Right on, and we can have these things everywhere too. All right, rubber is done. Whoa, whoa. You know what? I bet we could have one of these things launch us all the way over to uh, our starter base there. Yeah, because we have all these balconies around. Ho 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 ho! So why don't we just add one of them over here? I think this can work very well. So we just go straight, straight through the wall. Might look a little weird, because this is like a perfectly flat wall. Hmm. Okay, so then maybe not. It'd probably look really bad from afar. But we definitely have the right idea. Having one of those tashers take us over there. And I know the perfect place now that I think of it, of where to put one. And ironically, it's actually on the other side of the train warehouse here. So this is like our incredible like bridging area, which just looks absolutely crazy from down here. Got all the belts moving and grooving, our tower in behind. Oh yeah, this is cool, man. But actually more specifically, I meant, I wanna get up to that point. And it would be a little weird to have the elevator go up there, so can we get just a walkway going across? Because that would be super practical and look really, really cool. Oh, and it's going to be so close, brother. 
Oh my gosh, it worked. It's not perfect, but it works. Excellent. And then we just go up a little bit further here, just up to this point. Perfect. Yeah, this is a really cool area of the base. It kind of has a nice little overview of all the stuff down here. Has the side over here with all of the bridges again. It's not as cool of a view, but it's all right. And it's right underneath our big bridge that kind of connects the assembler area to the rest of the base. And like right here. Yeah, about right here would be perfect for a dasher. It's gonna be a little close, but I believe. There we go. Me and Duo, here I come. Let's go say hi. Oh yeah, this is working just perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. And super visionary kids, so smart. But I put these balconies here as a decoration eons ago. And now they make the perfect landing pad. <laughs> How am I so smart? I, ch I just don't even know sometimes. Cool. All right, yeah. Oh, there's you jelly right down here. Oh, <laughs> of course. Of course, past kibs, number one. And then how do we get back to our base? Well, I thought of that too, because eons ago in the starter base, we made an airport area that is not being used until today. Maybe, hopefully, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, we kind of have a bit of an issue with the airport now. Just, you know, a super massive giant blob in our way. Or wait, oh my, I, I'm getting too smart for my own good. Why don't we just make a bridge that goes into the manufacturing area? Wow. So we'll just go up to like the next floor here, and then yeah, we just move on through. Okay, and this walkway idea is looking pretty cool. It's a nice little overview of this area, but of course, the one problem is actually getting across the warehouse because, um, yeah, the planning here was not the greatest, but with a little luck, I think we could figure it out. Okay, and wow, the only thing really in our way was a little bit of wire, but we can just barely build right on above it, which looks amazing. Go through the wall, and guess what? We made it. We actually made it. We. <laughs> We shouldn't have got away with this, but we did. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, and then this just comes down this way. Rejoins up over here. Do this little decorative portion. We're back to the dashers, and we're off. Okay, so that was the, <laughs> unfortunately, the easy part. Now, I still wanna try and get a dasher from the starter base over here too. Though that might be impossible. All right, well, it wasn't impossible to use a dasher to get from A to B over there, but it uh, ended up being kind of weird. And by kind of weird, I mean extremely weird. Because instead of going just from A to B, we go around. So this is like the front part of our starter base here. And I just added a few dashers over this way, and now we kind of just fly around our assemblers here. So yeah. A little bit nicer. I also turned the volume off for the dashers because, oh my god, they're so loud. And yeah, things are pretty good now. Whew. Uh, pretty good, not all good. It, that's still like really sketch and I won't be using it much, but you know, it worked that time, thankfully. <laughs> and also, while figuring out this dasher system, I had a little live stream, added in a few more just uh, vanilla elevators. So now we have a bounce pad elevator over there as well. Uh, we have a bounce pad elevator that goes up the constructor area, and most places are good now. Like if they needed an elevator or a dasher, they're set. Meaning, we can start messing with the tubes, brothers. The tubes! Because <laughs> these things are fun AF, and we absolutely will be using them. So, yeah, we're just gonna use them like this. They're not gonna be accurate, but they're gonna work, and we're just gonna launch ourselves everywhere. And this area is turning out to be a pretty decent little airport. Like, it's free, it's open, I don't plan to build above here, and it's relatively close to our hub. I think it works out. So yeah, we'll just put a couple down here, once we have a few items. 
And also, instead of building the launch things over this way, we're gonna build them over here, where we just have a little bit more room. Kinda makes this more uh, a proper launch area. So, we'll probably just have two, maybe three. That'll be fine. Uh, the first one is just gonna get us up to this next floor, just as a convenience thing. All right, all right, very good. And now these two. These two are gonna be a little bit more interesting. We just want them to launch us up and around. I don't really care particularly where they take us. I just wanna have the option here. Because with the Dashers, they're good to getting from point A to point B, but these things can get us like to the whole alphabet, you know? And also don't judge me, but I couldn't get over my addiction, all right? It's just so much easier to build straight up when you have the freaking air reactions flight. It's so much better. So there we go. Now we don't have to actually set up a billion hours of scaffolding to make this work. And it now just works. Alrighty. So, how well do they work? Probably extremely well. Yes? No? Let's find out. Uh, it's pretty good. Good speed. All right, and that's pretty much exactly what I wanted. To go through like this little gap here, and be able to get to like this side of our base, where we have all of the world eaters. Ooh, in fact, we kind of just land on this one perfectly. Cool. Now I wonder how the other direction's gonna go. We might just fly into our assembler thing again. Hopefully not. But first off, let's just test it out. Hopefully we go over it. Oh yeah, that's a lot of speed. Okay, or we just go around it again. It seems to be a recurring theme, but it works. Well, that's pretty handy then. There is still one problem, and that is we're gonna be building this warehouse above the train station way higher. So that's not gonna work forever. So we're gonna use a creative solution regardless. And the solution, quite simply, is to go right through the assembler area. Can't go around it, and if we can't go through it, well, we'll make our own way through. <laughs> now the only thing is if we can actually line this up properly to go straight through the hole we made. Because the outputs for these travel pipes do not always shoot you straight, as we just saw. So it's kind of a bit of a luck of the draw. Sometimes though, <laughs> we almost go straight. Oh! <laughs> Apparently we can get shot a little lower sometimes. Okay, fantastic. So we have two solutions. Number one solution is we can do uh, what we did up over on our main travel tower here and use the belts to kind of angle us properly. But unfortunately that looks um, not very good. Or option two is we just keep on making this taller. And you don't have to tell me twice to do that. So let's just make it, I don't know, another 10 tubes was that taller? Cool. And that will absolutely shoot us over this. I'm just hoping the speed isn't too, like, egregious. Because if you go too fast through these travel pipes, you can actually get, like, thrown out of the map, or worse, stuck in the game's skybox. So, yeah, it'd, be, it'd be not good. But we should be fine. We have a jetpack. We're safe. Oh god. Yeah. We're safe, and this is a fine speed. Yep, the map's loading perfectly well. Jetpack kind of slows us down. The map's not loading. If we fall through the world, we're dead. Okay, we're landing here. We could go a little bit further, but I'm scared. Okay, we're just going further then. That's fine, game. I totally wanted to. Okay, a beacon. Okay. Well, um... It works <laughs> a lot better than expected as well. Cool. And actually, this is where I want to have our crystal oscillator factory in the future. So that's like perfect. So with that done now, there's still one more big travel pipe thing I want to do. And I want to make like essentially a travel pipe loop around the world. So for example, this travel pipe took us all the way to the desert. At the desert, we have another like stack of a bunch of travel pipes there. They shoot us somewhere else, etc., etc. And eventually, we just get shot and cannonballed around the entire planet. Or to wherever we have like outsourced factories. 
Like I said earlier, we want to have the Crystal Oscillator factory out in the desert there. And we'll probably have like other factories elsewhere too. So yeah, we'll work as kind of like travel hubs instead of just always relying on trains. And for proof of concept here, I actually went ahead and I made one of these over in our whew, oil area. So at least it's just a, a bit of a prototype. I want to see what we could do here. And I used the area actions mod to fit the pipes in together very, very closely. And we're actually going to be launching ourselves toward the desert starting area over here. So we'll launch over here and fly over as far as we can this way. So we go around the central mountain in the middle of the map. So let's give it a shot. I'm not sure how far we're going to reach. Okay, and now I am. We are definitely making it back to base. That is pretty dang fast, brother. Oh, yeah, bud. Are we actually making it right back to the travel tower? Pretty sure we are. We're good on the jetpack fuel. We're moving. We're grooving. The map isn't loading. The leg is happening. I'm scared. Oh, we're good. Okay. And we're safe. Made it right back to base. To our new main entrance. This is another thing I quickly did on stream. But this area here is the main entrance to our base. And I decided to spruce it up a little bit. So it looks pretty cool. Uh, one thing though is I added in this super massive sign. And this is going to be for the name of our factory. So as one final thing, leave me some suggestions on what we should call all of this. Because I have no idea. Anyway though, I look forward to your guys' suggestions. And please leave me multiple if you want to. And we will check them out for next time. But that's going to be all for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. But have a fantastic rest of your day. And bye bye <laughs>